All right, we are back, and we need to go to the bio lab, I suppose. Hello, Parker. Yes. Yes. Slip that in there. A fingerprint scanner. Time for coffee. Wait, hold on. Yeah, 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 oh yeah! Woo! That is a rush. Alright, so the coffee trolley has to be called sequentially for some reason. <laughs> Why are there like 8,000 full bottles of wine? Like, these don't look empty. I, I guess it's deliberately hard to tell, but I don't know. They look full. Ah, Parker, that really tickles. Why does he have one of those v-neck guitars? Like, he's got two of them, you know, dual wielding. Um, <laughs> and a triangle, you know, the most metal of instruments. Nice. I love the tape. The tape on the couch is a really nice touch. Oh, there's lots of tape on the couch. Oh, he looks like a sad robot. Like, oh no, my eye! That's what he sounds like. Um. Hi, Ted! Got some of the lyrics down during my shift. I think it's really gonna be a hit, Bob. Bob, you wrote one line, you lazy slob. I'm doing the same until you smarten up. Cordially, Ted. What? <laughs> Look at all of those mics. Is that... I don't know, is that standard? I don't, I, I've never done a record, like I've recorded just, you know, my own voice. That is a lot of um, mixers, I guess those are called, right? It's just the same speaker scaled down. All right, fingerprint scanners. Looks like the booking schedule for the facility recording studio. Why is there a facility recording studio? Most notable is that neither of the founders seem to have occupied the studio in the same time, except for a very brief two-minute interval once a week or so. According to a famous rock band logic, this would have made for ideal working conditions. Dead, dead, great news. Did some focus testing for the song, and guess what? It's a hit. The audience really had an ear for it. <laughs> Get it? Because of the corn, Bob. I really like that since they hate each other, it actually kind of makes sense that they just left stupid sticky notes, and then we get to read them. Stop playing around with the cord and get back into the studio! We have no time to waste, twit! They're gonna record a record single. To... Oh, it's that foamy stuff. I want a room full of this foamy stuff, and I just want to rub my entire body against it. Just like, oh, mm. oh yeah. Foamy. Soundproof. And no one could hear me do it either. That's, that's the beauty part. In blue pen, I live a life of a lonely man who's plagued by a brilliant mind, an imbecile for a right hand, and a prison I'm inside. The next lines are in red pen. I need a girl who can understand the burdens of this life, whose name will go on after an ampersand, and whom I can confide. Top secret. Okay. Wow. They, they recorded a hit single. Wow. Glitter and rhinestones. <laughs> wow. <sighs> is it a very small guitar? Or is it? I, it's hard to tell, but it feels very small. Sometimes first person perspective does some weird things to you. Again with garbage? These are all useless things you take, idiot. Shut, shut up or I will shove this up your fluffy asshole. There's so many guitars! <laughs> Just, just 18, just, 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 just order us a 20 pack of guitars at, you know, at Sam's Club. You know, it's cheaper if you buy them, buy the 20. I'm, I'm still crouching. It, it still bugs me that crouch is not control. Why can I use the drum? There's so many mic stands! Or wait, what are these? They're stands of some variety. I need to get a mic, I need to get a boom for my mic. So I can have it around, but not actually on the desk. Can I just take the drum? Of course you just take the drum. Of course you just take the drum. <laughs> this is a lot of... That is a very intense set of drums. Like, there's so many symbols. Um, you did not think this was an instrument. You thought this was something you stood on in order to be taller for a little while. You stood on it for six hours, regretting nothing. That does sound like something I would do. Guitar stand. Having no interest in guitars at the recording studio, you decided to take what you thought was a com less complicated instrument and began banging it against a wall. 
I love that we're so stupid. It's great. The packaging claims these rhinestones and glitter can bedazzle even the most dazzling of items. I spent the, the next hour afterward wondering if that was a paradox, and then the next three figuring out what a paradox is. Uh, um, so I guess you put the uh, dust on there. No? Huh. Oh! Piece of tape. Oh, but he lifted the prints! Even Bob's fingerprint looks like it wants to sell you something cheaply made for a large profit. <laughs> Used to bypass the extremely secure system the founder set up to make sure they were both present to press a new version of their single. A system which Bob got around easily. Oh, freaking Bob. I knew you stole my fingerprint, you glory-hogging buffoon! Well, at least he's not a glory-holding buffoon. Yeah, just, just take that speaker. You mistook this for a peculiar animal and waited several hours for it to say something to you. When it did it, you decided to take it. You now carry it over your head like a battle standard. <laughs> We're such a good character. My, this this character that we are is my favorite character. I have no idea what they look like, but they have a good head on their shoulders. Oh, wait, I just want to see what this room looks like from in here. Oh, it's nothing special. Oh, there's little creepy monitors, I guess. Um... I figured we would lift the prints with the sand stuff, but place Bob's fingerprint on the thing. I have no idea why I did that. Press a new- Oh, pressing hot new single on a new CD! Hell yeah! Oh, it's a hot new single. All this technology was so new at the time, each CD of the founder's pop single cost several thousand dollars to press, which made this the most cost-efficient operation in the facility. Wonderful. Oh, that's why this opened the door! Oh, I thought it was... The thing I thought was like secret government stuff was a hot new single. Delightful. That is exact. That is so this game. Where's the trolley? I need, I need, I need my coffee. Where's the coffee trolley? Oh no, I need to ride it. I need to ride it. Oh no. All right. Oh well. So. I guess I can open this now. Open the activation room. Oh, it's, it's so 80s. The conglomeration of circumstances is too large for us to comprehend. Or maybe because it's sunny outside. Yes, of course. But why aren't we over there? I don't know. Good old corn. Ooh. Is this a convenient exit? Coin slot? Oh, it's coin operated. Punishments down there. That seems unpleasant. Giant Fabergé egg. I the fancy hat. So much garbage. There is no more garbage left for anyone else. Psh. You just go down this tube, and Iris Heart is waiting for you. That's what's down the tube. All right, let's see what's down. Here. What's this? Ted has completely blocked the unfathomably sized Fabergé egg out of reception, so that he doesn't have to think about it. It's even more unfathomable cost. Bob was very disappointed when this one didn't have any chocolate inside of it. It's maybe a fancy hat, but it isn't the fanciest hat in the land. That title belongs to a top-notch brown bowler owned by an office clerk in Brighton. Okay, that's probably a reference to something. I don't know. Um, <laughs> sentient? Not sentient. So this is the thing that gives sentience to Corm. Uh, Gentlemen! Behold, corn. Oh, we gotta break another Fabergé egg. Of course we do. Break it with the drum. Why did I put a hat on it? Get us some glitter. I can't believe that worked. That was a joke. Why did that work? It's bedazzled face. Wow. Okay. I guess there's a face scanner that we need this for. Oh, it's one of those spooky... Oh, no. These are just, like, bins? Okay. I thought that this was, like, one of those rooms, like, the Panopticon things with, like, lots of little monitors all around. Oh, hey. We're not supposed to be up here. That's fun. Watch me get stuck in geometry and, like, die. Alright, maybe I should... Maybe I should... Uh-oh. Oh, oh pfft, Just fell through the ceiling. Yeah, you're not supposed to be able to go back there. Alright. So... Oh. 
Wait. Bob, where in God's name is everyone? What happened to all of our staff? I ain't dead. Think I left a note to you about that. Had to let them all go to cover the recording costs. Also, FYI, we have no money left. Oops! Let me guess, you just pushed them all down into the punishment slot. Um... That's kind of creepy. Um... Oh, farmer hat. I'll just leave them to their business. Coffee trolley! Yeah. Oh yeah, boy. Oh, this is gonna be a good one. Oh, let's crouch for this one. I've never felt more betrayed in my entire life. I can't believe this. Oh. game is so stupid. I love it. Okay. Of course we have to build another facsimile of a person. What do you mean? Oh. I thought the, the muffin was the thing. Okay. Facial recognition. Where, where even is the camera for the facial recognition? Like, I don't see a camera. Whatever. Um... What? Weren't you supposed to open the, the door? Did that open something else? The punishment slot is still closed. Can I put the, the, the biscuit in the coin slot? No, I can't. Uh, wasn't that supposed to open the door? Why would that do anything other than open the door? Facial recognition security checkpoint. What do you mean? Why is the door not open? We're all locked out and fix the lift. Cell control. What? Coffee trolley out of coffee again. Out of coffee again. Do I need to put coffee in the coffee trolley? What? While the corn's gone, of course. <gasps> Ooh, we almost missed a thing. The amount of zeros in this invoice is hard to fathom for all but the least budget contest minds. The order form is faded, so you can only see fragments of the words on the item list. Whatever the purchase is for, it apparently needed a lot of vats for fuel. Huh. Total payment is 30 days. Total due. Oh, that is a, that is a lot of zeros. Wow. Okay. I don't think their hit single is going to sell that much. I'm not sure the world had that much money in the 80s, in fact. I don't understand. I guess we didn't finish our business at the lab. But I assumed we would find something else. Key fob slot. Yeah. I'm confused. Hopefully I won't hurt myself in my confusion. Uh, centrifuge. Was there anything else we could put in there? I don't, I don't see anything. I don't see any white outlines. Do you see any white outlines in there, comment people? Oh, so that was the exact centrifuge. I was like, oh, I found it. Like, no. Um, out of coffee again. Why did that do nothing? Why would that do nothing? Okay, so it's not there. There's not too many places left to go. I like how it's like Star Trek parts inside the open panels. Yeah. I'm having words issues. What do you mean? Whoa. Oh no, I saw that. Out of coffee again. Do I put coffee in the blood? That's how they, you know, that's how you become a super person, right? You, you inject coffee directly into the bloodstream. I think that's how that works. Um, I'm kind of wondering if this is a bug and the door was supposed to open. Coffee trolley, out of coffee again. I'm 
Okay, so the, the stuff blocking this thing seems to have moved out of the way. I don't... I don't know what that does for us, though. I don't see anything... Oh, for Pete's sake. Inactive key fob. And an item for the folio. Okay. I... That is not what I expected this thing to do. Um, yeah, let's just check all of these. Oh. Alright, so an inactive key fob. What do we do with an inactive key fob? Um, let's read that thing, shall we? A diagram torn in half contains a drawing of a scarecrow with complicated scientific equations underneath an orange pen. <gasps> Helen is the science person! A sketch of the strange spire near the grain silo, which is circled. Writing is also visible. This will help you. It looks important. You tried to eat it, but you changed your mind when you couldn't find any pepper. Oh, so I should circle. This is this will help you. Strange spire near the grain silo. Do we need to go to the grain s silo to do stuff? Wait, I can't get out of here right now though, can I? No, because I went through that one-way tube. Parker, honey, honey, could you at least sit down? You are. You are extremely in the way right now. Okay, that's better. Inactive key fob. What do I do with an inactive key fob, though? Shove it in the centrifuge? What? 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 I don't even know what I'm doing with... How did you fit a key fob in the centrifuge? That's not how centrifuges work. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry. You put little pipettes, you fill little pipettes and they're like special slots that you fit them in. I don't know what I was supposed to have just done, but it, it's not a thing that could be done. Helen's room. Oh, so Helen is the one that had the sentient corn idea, I suppose. <laughs> Do you remind me of? I think Helen is that lady that, oh, oh okay, hold on. Um, I found a picture of Helen that I'm sure all of you will just adore. That's Helen. She's just like, yeah, sentient corn, eh? What a cramped little office. Alright, I'll, I'll take that off. There you go. Okay. Lots of TVs everywhere. I swear to God, Vladdy, I will shoot you. I will find. I will find a gun and. Okay, so th this is how all of the science happened. I was kind of wondering about that. So Helen just kind of did her job, didn't she? <laughs> Three microscopes, triple wielding the microscope. That's how you know she's a real scientist, not one of those filthy casual scientists. Draft letter to the government. It's a draft letter sent to the US government requesting a full audit of the research facility. If you understood the concept, you'd be clear to discern you'd be able to discern it was a clear forgery, with the founder's signatures practiced several times underneath, including phrases like needs to sound stupider in orange pen. It's presumed that the fish's copy was successfully sent off to the government, triggering the audit. Do do is that a thing you can do? Can you just say like, hey, go go audit me, Mr. Government man? I mean, we do have voluntary audits, um, you know, to make sure our financial stuff is all right. But I mean, government secret agency audits, I don't know about that. Oh, there's the rosy corn. Is that a real corn? I guess there are. This is the one. Um, oh no, is Helen, is Helen that corn? What do you think, Vladdy? Is it just a theory? Um, another jar of Ranka. Because of the company's awful production procedures, every batch of Ranka has a different taste. In this jar's case, it tastes like the back of an old chair. Ah, nostalgic. 
item added to folio. I think we're going to finish this next video, probably. Um, probably pop this off in just a few. I wanna, I'll see what's inside the next door, and then we'll call it a video. Written entirely in orange pen, most of it is faded, but there's some words you can read. Some of the phrases include idiot facility, credit ceiling imbeciles, doing everything completely wrong, lowered the corn's intelligence, do itself with my genetic code, and ruby corn. Okay, so she, she is in the corn. I see. Because that's totally how genetic code works. But, you know, th that's the sort of thing a game would do, you know, just ignore the fact that genetics does not mean, like, your mind, body, and soul. But, you know. Anyway. Look at how futuristic the, the, the red, the glowy lights are. I wish I worked in a facility like this. It would be completely unnecessary, but it would feel so much cooler. Why, why are we putting the coffee? I mean, obviously, that's, what's, that's what happens when you put coffee in the coffee trolley. And that's obviously how you break through secure doors. Okay. This is obviously the monitor room, because, you know, or, like, the security room, because you got to have, like, a billion things. Look, look at that face. Look at that lovely face. Beautiful. It's like, it's like God painted a self-portrait. That's what it's like. <laughs> I love how it's just gently clipped through the wall. No, don't bother damaging the wall or anything. Just, you know, it's just there. A loose grate that Vladdy hopes you won't notice. Well, it's the only- oh, hold on. Oh, I'm so glad I found that. Because I don't want to miss any things. I'm going to be very sad. I will be a very sad panda if, uh, if I miss any things. Written out by Ted, this notice outlines that the isolation, isolated project in the containment room cannot absolutely, positively, under any circumstances, be spoken to by staff, under pain of being called an idiot for several months and likely fired. It's not quite torture, but it works. All right, well, it looks like next time will probably be our final episode, or maybe two if there's a long stretch, but uh, I'm going to call it here, and next time we will put poor Vladdy's carcass through that grate. <laughs>